it kills me that, you know, you look at a data science project portfolio or past work experience and everyone's like, well, everyone has these great portfolios. I have to build one just like it. And mm-hmm. to me, you're just, cre- you're just grouping yourself with everyone else. Exactly. And I think that, you know, that's kind of part of the problem, right? Is that you have to find what the gaps are and how do you do that? What is the approach to, um, you know, really getting into the mind of the hiring manager, understanding what they, what they're interested in, probably talking to them or, or like doing research, figuring out what the, what direction the company wants to do. And unfortunately that's additional work that few people want to do because it's very easy to say, oh, I just have to build this other project um, because it, there's clear constraints around it. Yeah. So that's a really good call out is that, um, you know, a lot of it's, I think it's a misconception that um, you want to do what everyone else is doing. Like, like there is a template for getting a job, especially in today's market, which is extremely competitive. That's not what you want to do. You don't want to be like everyone else. You want to be different from everyone else and stand out as much as possible. You want to show you're competent, but you want to show it in a way that is different and makes you stand out and, you know, gets you to the top 2% of those resumes or whatever it is. Um, you know, when, when, when thinking about like, what is it that differentiates people or how do you solve, you know, what problems are hiring managers having that they're looking for solutions for something that I always look for when I'm hiring for data science candidates. Um, and I imagine most hiring managers also struggle with this is we spend probably 60% of our time trying to corral uh, our team towards doing something that makes sense. And it's kind of a negative way of saying it, but essentially what we do as managers is we connect our team's work so that it aligns with the business. So, you know, we bring in projects, we make sure that these projects are well lined up with, you know, broader objectives, but we can be totally prescriptive and like build this in exactly this way. You know, that's, that's, no one does that. It's not possible. So you have to be able to give like broad or like loose direction of like, you know, build this, but also like use your own intuition for like how you're, how you're going to approach that. And the more that someone can understand that on their own, the more it frees up the manager to be able to go and do other stuff. And that is like a manager's dream is to be able to go and do more without like to hire more people without having to take up more of their time is the dream.